guys welcome on my channel i wanted to say welcome back but i have been off youtube for about one or maybe two years now i just stopped uploading videos because i didn't get the satisfaction out of it that i got from instagram so i decided to focus on instagram fully and that paid off pretty good so i decided whenever i would hit 50,000 followers on instagram i would come back to youtube and here I am, so uh, yeah. For today's video, I'm using the new Anastasia Subculture Palette. In this video, I'm going to show you three different eye looks with one palette. And if you guys would like to see how I did that, then please keep on watching and I will show you. I have my brow done. I do need to still prime my eyelids, so that is what I'm going to do first. For that, I'm going to use my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. And just on a small buffer brush, I'm going to buff that all over the lid. And also sweeping it on my lower lash line. And to make sure everything is nice and even, I'm going to pat that out with my finger. And because I want a really, really sharp line today, I'm going to use some scotch tape. So just take a little piece and stick it right about there. And make sure it's comfortable for the eyes. And I'll also make sure that I can put um, shadow on my lower lash line. So I'm not putting it all the way to my outer corner. So I'm using this NYX Hot Singles in the shade Whipped Cream. And I'm just applying that right underneath the brow. Of course, this video is a one palette, three looks tutorial. So I'm going to use this new Anastasia Beverly Hills subculture palette. So to start out this look, I'm going to take the shade Dawn. And I'm going to use this shade inside the crease as a transition and to set some depth into my eyes. Taking a little bit more of that shade and building up the crease. Now I'm taking the shade New Wave on a Morphe R39. I'm going over that same crease color and this is just to make it a little bit more yellow and have a little bit more of a unique vibe. And I like to blend it up pretty high because I have pretty small eyelids and I'm going to make a cut crease. I usually take those up pretty high too. So I want to make sure that I have as much lid space as possible. Going in with a Morphe 506 and the shade fudge create a little bit more depth in this part of the crease and make sure to really really blend it out so now i'm also going to take the shade fudge onto my outer corner and don't blend it too much to the inner part because i'm going to use some concealer to cut the crease going back in with a little bit more of that new wave shade and i'm gonna blend it until it's really nice and smoky now I do feel like I lost a little bit of that lightness underneath the brow. So I'm going to go in with that same white eyeshadow again. Picking up a little bit of the shade Dawn. And I'm going to blend that again right there. Going back in with a little bit of New Wave. And lastly again a little bit of Fudge. So now I'm going to cut the crease using my Tarte Shape Tape and my Sigma brushes in Cut Crease E62 and Shader Lid E56. I do have a affiliate discount code and I will put that in the description. I have hooded eyelids so I take it up a little bit higher so that if I look forward you can still see the shade that I'm going to apply on the cut part. So I'm gonna go back with the shade Fudge and a really teeny tiny angle brush. What I want to do next is take a little bit more of that Fudge shade and try and blend it with the concealer right there. And I'm gonna set all of that with the shade Electric and I'm using my fingertip to get the most color payoff. And then up the crease I'm gonna use a small brush. To really cut the crease, I'm going to use the Nabla Dazzle Liner in the shade Purity. I'm only going to apply it to the cut part. As I suck at eyeliner, I'm going to leave it like this, but you can definitely add some eyeliner. Now I'm just going to take off the tape and clean up after with the makeup wipe. So now I'm just going to finish up the lower lash line. Cube has a really nice pinky sheen to it, and that is perfect because the glitter liner I used also has a pink sheen to it. Now I'm quickly gonna curl my lashes, apply some mascara and falsies. And I'm using Anastasia Waterproof Cream Color in the shade Honey. 
So as with the previous look, I already did my brows and this time I already primed my eyelids and also did the white underneath the brow. I'm taking first the shade down. And this shade I'm using as a transition shade in the crease. By the way, today I'm not using any tape and that is because I'm going for a more rounded shape rather than a very, very sharp edge. And I am focusing this shade on the inner and the outer part and blending it in the crease. I'm using the shade Roxy on a smaller brush. And I'm going to focus this shade on the inner and the outer corner. And then afterwards I'm going to blend it in the crease. Taking a really small brush and picking up All Star. So I'm only... It is very pigmented as you can see. So I'm just gonna dab it on the inner and the outer corner. Now I'm taking the Sigma Buff and Blend E39 and I'm going to blend out the shade All Star and I'm trying to focus it on the parts where I already applied it and I don't want to connect it in the center. Taking just a touch more of that All Star shade and again blending it out. And you can do that until you really like the intensity of the two shapes. Now I'm gonna go back in with a little bit of Roxy and applying that to the crease and blending it up. Taking off any fallout and as you can see it becomes really sharp so I don't want that so I'm just gonna tap with my finger to really blur the line. Taking Roxy again on the same brush and I'm going to apply it to my lower lash line. So with my finger I'm gonna take the shade Adorn and I'm going to apply that shade on the center part of the lid. And with a little bit more of the shade All Star I'm gonna hug that Adorn shade in the middle. And lastly with a really small brush I'm taking the shade Cube and applying that to the inner corner. For today, I'm using the Bonneke Lashes in the style Boana. And again, I always tightline just so that you don't see any skin gaps between the lashes. And we finally arrived at the last look. So I already have my brows done, my primer done, and I already have some foundation on. And of course, I chose to do <laughs> the smoky dark look right now, which is so stupid. But um, to help me out, I'm going to use a shadow shield. So you just apply them like this. So for this look, I'm not going to use Dawn as a transition, but I'm going to use the shade Mercury. Now taking Anastasia's waterproof creme color in the shade Jet. And just on a synthetic brush, I'm going to apply this to the lid. Taking a clean synthetic brush, I'm going to blend out the edges. Now on a large shader brush, I'm taking the shade Axis. And I'm applying that right over top of the black base. Taking a blender brush and the shade Untamed. And I'm going to blend out that previous shade. Now taking a bit of my concealer underneath the brow and a synthetic brush to blend it out. So I feel like I took the shade up way too high, but let's see if I can fix it. So I'm first gonna apply a little bit of the shade Axis to the lower lash line. And I'm gonna take off this shadow shield. So I'm taking the shade Electric on a small brush. And I'm applying that to the inner corners. Taking Jet again, I'm gonna apply that to the waterline and tightline. And for this look, I'm using the Anitude Snobby Lashes. And to give the brow bone a little glow, I'm going to take my loose highlighter in the shade Aurora. And that is the last look done. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out. And also subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss any future videos. I don't have a schedule, so make sure to also hit the notification bell so you get notified when I upload a new video. I really want to know what your favorite look was, so let me know in the poll up here or up here. I don't know which side, which side it is, but let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next one. Bye!